Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, we are back working on this uh, this custom e-bike build. And uh, right now we're going to be uh, concentrating on the, the battery pack. Uh, building out a, uh, an enclosure for it. And, uh, you know, in the past builds, I've uh, it's always kind of been just a second thought. Uh, you got to put the batteries in and then just jump on with the, the rest of the build. And, the, the way that the batteries look enclosed is kind of eh, secondary, not really important. But on this one, I want to spend a little bit of time and, and make something that looks really cool. So to start out with, uh, we have our controller and our battery. These are not actually controllers or batteries because I don't have them yet, but they're foam blocks that uh, you know, are the size of the components that we're going to use. So I'm thinking our battery is going to sit something like that. Maybe our controller either inside the box or on top of the box, but somewhere in this region here. So uh, let me bring in here and show you what we got so far. Alright, here we have drawn out as our, our basic profile shape. I'm not sure how well you can actually see it because it's pretty light. But then we have this piece that'll kind of act as our top and perimeter build with uh, our battery and our controller fitting inside of here. And we're leaving plenty of extra space just in case some of the dimensions are slightly off. But that's the idea. So. I'm gonna keep cutting out uh, our template so we can build our, our box mold, I guess. All right, so that's approximately our shape. This will get bent around. That's why we left it a little bit long there. How much it will, I'm not sure yet, but let's see if we can get another piece out of here. tape them together and see what it looks like. Alright, so uh, we have our paper mock-up all uh, finished. And, uh, and I think that's what it'll, something will look like. And then the idea is that this part here will all be metal. And then this part here will be um, like sanded out um, polycarbonate or plastic. So then we'll backlight it from the inside, so then this whole section here will just glow then. That's the idea, but uh, let's see how well it works out. We can take this apart then and uh, use this as our template for cutting out our metal and plastic pieces then. all of our metal pieces bent up, cut out. I uh, ran out of big sheets, so these end up being little pieces all welded together. Might have to do a little filler on it just to hide it, but it should be fine. So we can uh, start tacking all these parts together now. So after uh, a lot of welding, a lot of sanding, um, this is about where we're at. And I think that has the, the look that we're going for. So I think at this point we can start working on our plastic that's going to fill in this section. Here we have our sheet of Lexon, which is just polycarbonate. And uh, we need to measure what our maximum height is going to be. Take 
this and rip it down into, uh, I think this is roughly 40 inches long, which is, I think we only need 30 to cover that, so should be good. We took our polycarb and ripped it down, so now we dimensioned it in half, so we're going to heat the center section up here, so we can try to get it to bend around there. Now that I have it bent in half, what I can kind of do is get an idea of where I want to trim it to. And I uh, want to stay probably about a quarter inch underneath that top edge there. Carbonate trimmed down, now we can test it for fit.
once we take this all apart to get it painted, um, what we'll do is we'll sand the inside of the, uh, the Lexon, so we'll give it like an opaque look, so you really won't be able to see through and see, you know, the, you'll see a shadow of like the battery box and stuff, but luckily the battery is blue and we're doing blue LEDs on the inside, so then when the LEDs are on, you just make the whole thing glow and then shine out the bottom. So that's the idea. So that's our next step. So to frost the um, the plexi, we just want to do the inside. So we're gonna pull off the protective film, and then uh, I just have 220 on here. So we'll start with that and see what it looks like. So the center section here, I can't get at with uh, the sander, so uh, just got to do it by hand then. All right, so we're done sanding. I think so, at least. A little bit of uh, plastic cleaner around here. And while it's wet, it'll make it look pretty transparent, but as soon as it dries, that, uh, that fog will come back. All right, let's pull the cover off and see what we have. So we have the uh, the metal finish painted. Uh, it turned out pretty decently. Uh, it's not perfect, but uh, you know, uh, what is? But uh, at this point, we can start putting this back together. So we'll slide our plastic in there, line up our bowls, and then start lining up our pop rivets. Actually looks pretty cool. I think at this point uh, we can start putting in our um, our lights in the back. Our lights, our, our toggle switches for the back here. So I know I'm going to use one of them for sure. The other one, if we end up not using it, it'll just be there. There we go off switches. That looks clean. All right. Now we can start on our lights. The, the lighting, we're using these um, 12 volt 50-50 blue LED strip lights. And I did get the, the waterproof kind, which basically just has like a gel coating over the top of it. But, uh, so what we want to do is run these along the inside here, inside, but right now we have to cut them down into dimensional sizes. So I think uh, I'll be able to get one run that's that long, so we'll just cut it right on the uh, cut line. One more the same length. All right, then what we'll do is we'll strip back the uh, the goo on the uh, the contacts here, solder in a connector, and then we'll be able to run these on the inside. So uh, we have our two sections of uh, LEDs uh, cut and wired together, and that's because uh, when we go to put them in, you're not going to be able to get a good bend like that. 
with one solid strip. That's the only reason we cut them. And then uh, also extended the other ends here just to make it longer, um, make it easier to wire in to the, the controller once uh, that comes in. For the time being, we're just gonna run it up to a 12 volt power supply just to see how it works. But uh, you might also notice that I put on this, um, this foam tape. And that's because uh, the adhesive that comes on the back of these is, is uh, it's junk and uh, it'll, it will fall off in like a day or so. So, uh, all right, let's put these in. I'm gonna start with the business end here with uh, the wires coming out of it. See this foam tape is so good, the, uh, the liner doesn't even wanna come off of it. You can see why we had to extend those wires because if we were to tape it down and then try to get in there to solder, that would just, it would not be fun. So this just makes it easier to wire into our switch and then down the line. But uh, see the front nose cone, the wires are hidden behind this part, so we should be okay there. Let's uh, throw it on the bike and see what it looks like. So this is our mount for uh, putting our battery down. So the battery will sit on here and then our plastic will screw through the sides into these and hold everything uh, in place there. Let's test fit this assembly. Let's check, let's see how it works. Yeah, if you don't have a barrel connector, really the, I forget which one is which, whether the inside is positive or the outside, but we're just gonna go positive to the inside. That's pretty awesome. Uh, let's turn off the lights and see what it looks like. Actually turned out pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm happy with it. Um, hopefully you guys uh, like this project and found it inspiring. And uh, if you want to see the rest of this build, make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell button because we'll have uh, the full build video on this coming out soon. Probably in parts kind of like this one, where as we complete it, we'll uh, we'll release some, but. As you can imagine, this is a time-consuming project, so it's going to take a bit for it to all come out in pieces and parts. But And I uh, thank you guys for watching. Till next time, take care.